Hello YouTube, hope you guys are doing well. Um, today I want to do a video on uh, my user experience on a chainsaw. Uh, just got done chopping down a bunch of uh, trees and bushes and whatnot in my backyard and um, uh, bought this chainsaw uh, about a year ago and uh, it, it's, uh, it's turned out to be a pretty good, uh, pretty good chainsaw. So I wanted to share that with you guys and uh, in case you're looking for one and so you can see all these uh, trees and bushes and whatnot that uh, I had to chop down there's actually uh, more of this uh, that we've already you know recycled and uh, put it into the dumpster and whatnot so what I'll do is uh, focus on the uh, the chainsaw itself and um, you know just kind of talk about some of the uh, important things that you have to remember uh, if you are uh, using a chainsaw of this type. So this is a uh, electric uh, chainsaw that I bought from uh, from Sears actually and uh, so it's a Craftsman 16 inch and uh, it, It's good enough for you know these uh, trees that are not that big um, You know uh, it, it, the, the important thing is uh, first of all there is a um, a lubricating uh, filler that you have to uh, make sure that you fill up uh, as the oil is um, you know it is being used to lubricate the uh, the chain itself okay so you want to make sure that uh, you look at the uh, the side window where it tells you if uh, you know the oil is up to you know the level that it should be so in this case what are you looking at is uh, I still have a little bit in there, but uh, you know it's probably time to fill it. So the kind of oil that you want to use uh, would be, you know, the stuff you can buy from uh, Walmart and uh, lubricating oil, uh, 30 weight. Okay, so that's the that's the number one thing is uh, you want to make sure that you uh, fill up the uh, the oil. Uh, the second important thing, uh, probably uh, as important, is uh, you see this knob. You want to turn it uh, upward, okay? Uh, when you look at the chain, and you know every let's say 15 minutes of use, um, you want to go ahead and feel the um, the tension and make sure that there's uh, less than a quarter inch of play. Uh, between the chain and the actual blade itself uh, you see that uh, as time goes on when you use the, the, uh, the saw uh, that's going to become uh, looser and looser so if you don't do this you know this uh, adjustment here this knob again you turn it upward to tighten it so uh, if you tighten it you do not tighten it then because uh, uh, I made a mistake uh, I kept using the chain, a ch chainsaw without tightening it. Eventually, the chain will come off the blade because it becomes so loose, uh, and then you know you got problems, and then you have to disassemble uh, the chainsaw to uh, put the chain back on. You know, uh, I mean it's not a it's not a huge deal, but it's just kind of a hassle. So you know, make sure that you you tighten that knob uh, every you know 15, 20 minutes. And uh, you you do that, and uh, you know uh, the uh, the saw uh, you know it, it serves its purpose uh, pretty well. And uh, so the one last thing is uh, there's this safety brake that uh, you have to pay attention to. So if you push this uh, safety forward uh, towards the front, the chainsaw will stop operating. Uh, it just won't work. So you know you can. You won't be able to turn it on. This is to protect uh, the user in case you know something bad happens and uh, you want to immediately stop the chainsaw, um, you know, something like that. So you move it forward, and you see that, and uh, the thing will uh, will be activated again. So you move it. Um, I'm sorry. You move it backwards, and then you know towards you, um, it'll it'll activate it again. So if you move, move it forward, the thing stops. It won't work. Okay, so keep that in mind as well. Because uh, one time I had it accidentally uh, pushed 
uh, forward like that and I didn't know what was going on and you know why is it that the chain the chainsaw wouldn't work so finally I had it uh, moved back and then uh, you know everything was okay and uh, so yeah this uh, this has turned out to be a uh, pretty nice saw um, and I got no complaints and so uh, the uh, the model is uh, right here so that's uh, that's what that's what it is and uh, it was um, I think it cost me somewhere around I want to say fifty dollars uh, probably a, a little bit less than that so you know I, I definitely thought it was uh, it, it, it's turned out to be a good deal so that's about it and um, so hopefully this is helpful to you guys and uh, if you like the video subscribe and like and uh, I will talk to you guys soon and uh, God bless goodbye